Hi, this is a quick demonstration of the uh, MP3 Anoyotron. Uh, it's still a work in progress. There is some quirks or bugs still to iron out. Uh, I'd love to uh, extend the battery life. The moment it runs on you know, good on good Duracell batteries, it could last eight months, I think. On I've got cheap Poundland uh, batteries in here. It's maybe about six months on those. Uh, it has other kind of limitations, uh, which I'll go into. Um, when it's when it's working, it sounds randomly once between four and sixty minutes, and does it again and again and again. So it might sound after ten minutes, it might sound after sixty minutes or fifty minutes, and then it resets, does it again and again and again and again. Um, I suppose the drawback at the moment is the power mainly. I'd love it to run for years. Uh, um, at the moment, yeah, nine months is probably the longest I've had this one running. Uh, that's probably, to be honest, as long as it's ever going to be. Um, the other quirks, I suppose, or the other annoyances are really with putting the sound files on and that. I'll discuss in a minute. Let me sound it and so you can so what it does is it sounds three times to let you know that it's ready for business, ready for action, ready to be hidden. And then you're gonna hide it on your victim. Uh, and then it's gonna sound randomly for the next six, seven, eight months. So here we go. So that's one. Inconceivable. And there's the second. Yeah, the the power issue, I suppose, may not be a big issue for most people. I mean, this is so loud that I think people are going to find it before. Eight months has gone by, and guessing probably, if he, even if it's very well hidden, inconceivable. It's it's so loud, people are going to discover it in possibly a matter of days. Uh, yeah, that for me is a drawback. Uh, I think that you know the 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 point of the annoy train is that it annoys rather than is just a prank that's found in a matter of hours. It should be something that's there for annoying you for months, maybe even years. The the other neutrons that I've made, you know, they will last over a year. This one's not gonna simply because of the the amplification, because of the MP for the three player module, it's not gonna achieve anywhere near that. Probably never will. Maybe with a few tweaks it could, but yeah, I've I've spent maybe so long getting it this far. Uh, it's beyond my skill now. Uh, yeah, the other little quirks or eccentricities of this is that uh, one of them that the sound files that you put on have to be ten seconds long. Uh, if they're shorter than ten seconds. It's going to repeat the sound file. Uh, so if you had a sound clip that was two seconds long, it would play it over and over for for the ten seconds. Uh, so it'll play it. It would play a two second clip five times to fill the ten second, and to sort of uh, get round that. Um, what you can do is you can add silence to the end of a sound clip. And so, 
The website I've been using to get sound effects and sound clips, it's called My Instance. Uh, and it really does have just about every, it's got hundreds of thousands I think of sound clips on here. Um, yeah, there's everything on here. Um, the one I found earlier was, uh, it's quite a good one. Nice. Uh, the one I found earlier was uh, a ding, sort of like a ding. That's fairly pleasant. Um, and obviously if you wanted to put that onto the Annoyatron, if you put it on, I mean that maybe is a sound clip of two seconds. It, it's gonna it's gonna sound five times in the in the ten seconds. It's gonna loop loop loop. So what you would want to do is put silence at the end of that sound clip. So I actually did this a few minutes ago. Everything went wrong, but this time hopefully, if we go to download download the the sound file. And um, once you've downloaded your sound file, there's a website called AudioMass, and uh, it's a it's free online audio editing software. And if you um, load your MP3 or WAV file, it can be MP3 or WAV. If you load your file, uh, sorry, my mistake. If you load your file, it's a load from a computer. Uh, yeah, I've downloaded that uh, ding sound effect a few times now. Uh, amend the existing. So there's the ding sound effect. It's actually close to three seconds long. It says 2.951 seconds. We need it to be 10 seconds. So press the skip to the end of the track button there. And I uh, probably can't see this. My, um, I'm not a big video maker, so we're using a phone here. Then... Uh, there's a insert silence. We want to insert 10 seconds of silence or more. Insert the silence. And now that sound clip should be... It's 13 seconds. So well over the 10. Meaning it's just going to sound once when we... Uh, when it, it sounds on the uh, MP3 Annoyatron. Uh, go to file. Export. Uh, the other quirk of this uh, Annoyatron is that the sound file has to be named 00001 so four zeros and then a one uh, export that plug in the Annoyatron and that's using a micro USB cable. Uh, that's the sound file that's actually on the Neutron at the moment. So you can delete that. Actually, want to delete, yes. And then if I go to my downloads, there's the sound file I just made. Drag it to the USB drive. You can actually rename uh, the files on the USB drive. The MP3 and iTron, uh, the MP3 module shows up as a USB drive when you plug it in. And so you can change it on the fly there. But as long as you change it to, it must be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 4 zeros, then a 1. And then if we... Uh, if we unplug, let me just reset it. Power management. Uh, 
there you have it. Ready to go again with a new victim. <laughs>